Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Season 2 of Minecraft Let's Play. Today is Episode 3, and I've got a great episode planned for you. We're going to continue on. We're actually going to put some lore behind all of the builds so we kind of have an idea of what we want to do. So with that being said, question of the day for today. Would you rather have tool add-ons, something like emerald tips that give durability, things almost like Tinker's Construct? Or would you rather have a new dimension in Minecraft? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, guys, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on notifications for when the videos come out. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so I have been thinking about what I wanted to do next in this series. And remember, for themes and stuff, we hadn't really decided what we were going to do yet. So I think the theme for this is going to be... Kind of almost a roleplay series, not actually roleplay, but it'll be like a build for a roleplay. If you think about it, like uh, we're going to have like a civilization, we'll have like markets and stalls and uh, just a lot of fun things around the builds and kind of have them themed towards maybe like medieval type stuff or a little bit yeah, something like that. And so to lead that theme off, I want to make a small pier market area that is leading to village because we've got this nice kind of big curve out here. And that leads into something that I mentioned in the previous episodes where I am not I want to do stuff that I'm not very comfortable with. So I get better at Minecraft. And one thing that I have the absolute most trouble with is like building piers and building in water. I skip those a lot because I don't know how to do that stuff. So this is uh, our practice for today. So to get started. <clears throat> we are going to start kind of shaping this. So I don't think I'm going to remove the ice. I'm just going to use the snow as kind of a guide for the bank. So uh, I always tend to over engineer these things and uh, I've got dark oak and spruce. I'm actually going to see. Let me see if I have a little bit more spruce, actually. Um, but I always tend to over engineer these things. And I think that this time I'm going to try to go for more of a simple look and see if I can make it work a little bit better. We have a little bit of spruce, scrub that. <clears throat> okay, so to start off, I want to come over here. Um, we kind of need to pick our starting points, starting and end points. So let's do that. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, like this like little bank right here is probably going to be good. So let's go like two off. And I'll use the darker wood in the bottom. This will probably change, by the way. I'm not sure if I want to use that color combo or not. Mainly just using it for water blocks. There we go. All right. So if it's going to start there, it should probably come somewhere over here. So let's see. It goes around the water, kind of like out there. That gives us plenty of room in here to make uh, sort of a little fishing village. Sleep real fast. So that'll make us that'll give us room to make a little fishing village. Uh, we'll have like a market area with fish to sell because there won't be crops. So it'll be selling fish. And then. For the end, I'm thinking like right in here. So what we'll do is we'll have the end. This is going to be kind of a guess, right? It's going to put it right there for now. Uh, so there will be a nice wall that butts up against this. I'm not sure how far I want it to come up this way. We might have a few entrances along the way here, but uh, this is going to be a fairly big project. It won't be done today. Today we're just in the planning stages. Okay, so um, I think, like I said, I, I tend to over engineer these things. And so that's not something that I want to do this time. I want to try something a little bit different. So let's try three spaces. Oh, I got the glitch. Oh, I didn't get the glitch. How about that? All right, let's um, let's do three spaces and then do a birch. So and then on this side, we may want to do a diagonal. But remember, the diagonals are kind of big. So we may want to do two diagonal instead of three, right? So there, there, and it looks like we could probably yeah, we could actually maybe do another diagonal. So something like right there, maybe. Uh, obviously, I'm going to choose the type of wood and stuff we use later. I just want to try to get try to get this in place. 
That is a little too close for its own comfort right there. Wait, are we doing two or three? It's hard. So one, two. Yeah. Put that right there. Okay. So, yeah, I like the spacing between that. I definitely like the spacing between that. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of this guy. There we go. So let's just remove these blocks and see how we like the spacing. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, that's actually pretty good. And then I think, because we kind of want to keep it at least two blocks away from the pier, that works pretty well. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Something like that. Now the, the side of this does kind of curve in a little bit. Maybe we should go diagonal again. Like right there. Now if we need to terraform this, this isn't a big deal. Because like, you know, there's just a little bit of dirt there. Something like that maybe fixes that. Now this doesn't have to be perfect either, you know. Three, so something like that. Okay, so before I go too far along, once again, I really like the way that that looks. Okay, so now we need to decide on a floor height. That's going to give us an idea of where this is going to sit. So what I will most likely do before we start building is terraform this out just a little bit. Because this level right here, it doesn't really go all the way through. It's kind of a smaller level. So what I might do is I might just make the floor the level we're standing on, which is 64. So if anything, we would probably want these to go one above 64. Or two above, one or two. Because we're going to be standing right here. Hmm. You know what? I think that would be good. So at least two out of the water. So we got a kind of a good idea. Now, here's where I tend to overdo things. I always think that sort of the pure wall needs to be like really over well, well done. Let's go grab a few blocks. This time, I'm going to keep in mind the entire time that I want to keep it simple. Um... Oh, come on. Let me let me walk, please. Oh, it's gonna this glitch is hilarious, guys. I don't I think I'm gonna have to relog. Yeah. Crap. So I play this world in a creative world as well to kind of practice before the episodes. Practice my craft, man. Grab that. I don't think I want any of those. I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, do I have any stone? Grab some stone. So let's uh, let's do stairs. Stone brick slabs or stone brick. Then stone brick slabs. It's kind of giving ourselves a nice variation of blocks here. And there we go. So take all those. Now. Uh, I think I'm probably going to use spruce for this build, actually. And it did it again. Crap, man, that's annoying. I want to switch to the newer snapshots, but I'm afraid to. I'm afraid I'm going to, like, mess something up, right? Hold on. So, oh, so this is the dark oak. Okay, let's get rid of that. So dark oak, it will go two out of the water, like this. Yeah, I like that. Now, how do we design this pier? Now, my initial thought was uh, either brick or stone brick or cobblestone, right? Because I was thinking if we we're going to have a medieval pier, they're probably going to have these very big logs, right? And then for the blocks, they're going to have something that's easily kind of grabbable for them. And so I was thinking either stone brick. So... Stone brick, um, which doesn't look bad with the combination, right? Stone brick and spruce is a classic. Or we could do cobblestone. Cobblestone isn't bad either. Now, there needs to be some detail added to the rest of this. Uh, typically, our go-to would be fences, but I'm not sure that I want to do that. Um... Now we could add some a little bit of detail to this, but if we start adding all that detail to it, I think that we're just going to kind of overwhelm ourselves. We could do a simple detail, but I don't like the way that that blends with that log, so we'll get rid of that. 
Now, what if we do something a little bit different? And instead of going to the side, we go to the front. Like this. The block placing has got to be off in this. Got to be. That doesn't look all that great either, so. All right, well, um, I've got a bit of work to do. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the detail around the side. I'm going to terraform the top of the island and just get things working. Okay, guys, besides the Enderman coming and moving my block, I think this area is pretty much prepped and ready to go. Now, when we build, we build this, we're actually going to, like I said, we're going to keep it simple, and I practiced off camera a little bit. I am going to make a crafting table because I didn't bring one with. By the way, thank you for the tooltip, uh, the way to craft over here. Um, I know how to do it now, uh, which I can't, I was going to show you with the fences, but. So my idea here is to use slabs from stone brick, right? So we're going to go across the middle here. And like I said, we're just going to keep it simple to get started. We don't want to overdo it, right? Now, once we kind of have uh, more confidence in building, then I can explore this idea more. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to like one thing I keep saying and I need to keep reiterating is because I think people tend to expect the best builds right away. And for something that we're building that we're not very comfortable with, it's going to take time. Um, by the way, you are not going to believe this, right? The pier that I chose for the very last one perfect spot perfect which is crazy so all right anyways um put this all here so this is all going to connect together and uh by the way the wood will go underneath of the water this all right here so i think that's probably good enough for down here for now um and then we're going to use stone brick on the inside of this but uh what i like to call it, it's going to be feng shui <laughs> we're going to use um we are going to use, speaking of, I don't know if I grabbed any. We're going to need to get vines. I really, really hope I grabbed vines when I was at that jungle. If not, I'll go back. But we're going to use different types of blocks. So basically, this is going to be a pretty general idea of what it's going to look like. So I want to fill just the backs of these in real fast just to see what it looks like from the back portion of this. There we go. All right. And I kind of was thinking this wall right here would be kind of cool to put like a solid set of blocks in there and have some like shops on the side of the wall. So that's why I didn't really terraform all that. There we go. So that will give us a good idea of what it's going to look like. Try to avoid the water here. Sleep real quick. You can only sleep during nighttime or thunderstorms. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right, so now I've got fences. Come on. And the one thing that I don't have that I really, really want is gray dye. And I don't have a lot. I mean, I can obviously get this, but I don't know if I don't think I have a lot of bone meal or any at all for that matter. I wanted to test something. Do I have any over here? Six clutch. So make some gray dye, dye this gray, try two pieces. See, that's a little dark for stone brick, right? Let's dye it down two more to light gray. There we go, make some carpet, there we go. So I'm gonna try this too. So, oh, don't go in the water. Oh, I was trying, damn it. I was trying to avoid the glitch, and I still failed. There we go. All right, so from there, we are going to have fences from here. So fence, fence. I'm not sure if I like that just yet. That might get changed. I don't like how it takes up so much space there. Not a big fan of that. Now, carpet. See about doing carpet on top of the wood. It actually doesn't look all that bad. Okay, let's go outside and see what it looks like. So I'm still a little iffy on the transitions. Okay, not bad. I actually really like that. That looks pretty good. 
There could be a few more detail spots, but the thing that I think we need to work on most now is the corners. That transition area. I can't, I'm not gonna... Okay, I might actually try to update to the newest version, and hopefully that'll fix that glitch, because us relogging all the time is not gonna work for me. If I leave this open, what does that look like from the outside? Can I get through there? I can't get through there. How does that look? See, that doesn't look very good. Huh. What if instead we go like this? So from the outside, that looks pretty good. I mean, we could even go one further and put it here instead. Just basically rotate it to the outside. That could work. Hmm. Let's go and see what it looks like. Watch us get this glitch again. Oh my god, it didn't happen that time. Okay. From the inside, it gives us more space. Hmm. Those corners are going to be tricky. I don't know. We'll have to test it. But we know what we want to do now, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this finished, and I'm going to cover this entire thing with stone brick. All right, guys, I got a lot of the thing done, but I ran out of stone brick. Uh, I need to go back down into the mine and get more, obviously. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these corners yet, but overall, I think it's going to be, this is going to be an awesome village. We've I've got big plans for this thing. So this is kind of like the base level of what we're going to do. So you'll be able to walk along the pier out here. And then I was thinking down here where we have like this big open space, there'll be markets, right? So I'm thinking the markets will probably start one, two, three. I, I at least want to have three blocks in between this. So I'm thinking roughly right here, maybe. And same over here. So we'll have different market stalls with different fish and we'll actually like stock these. I want to I want to be very thorough with these types of builds this time. So that marketplace will come out to, you know, roughly about right here. It's going to be a pretty big size. So you'll be able to walk along the pier over here as well. And then um, throughout these areas, right in like in between the shops, there'll be like little houses. Uh, most of them will be stalls and shops, though. So this will all be filled in. And then over here, if you remember on Let's Play Minecraft Season 1, we had the wall that was at the end of our main area that like uh, had like different tiers to it. That's what we're going to do here. So it's going to start right here and kind of work its way up the hill here. We kind of got to decide how we're going to make this work. So I don't want to just make it straight. So what I'm thinking about doing is, ooh, hello. Hi, hi, boop, hi. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Let me kill him. Those guys drop a lot of bones a lot of times. All right. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm thinking it's going to curve up the hill here, right? Something like right there, right there. So it's going to have a lot of natural curve to it. Come up. um, And then probably curve back. Like right there. How does that look? Let me go up a few blocks. Okay. So curve up, curve back, because we don't want it to be straight. That would not be any fun. There we go. So I'm going to leave it right there for now. So next up, we need to talk about the plans for the second level. There's going to be two shopping levels on the back, right? So there's a nice big wall here. And what I'm thinking about doing is raising this up a block, right? Or maybe even two blocks, and then we'll have staircases that will probably start about right here, come up to about right there that take you to the second level. <laughs> and then the same thing on this side, most likely. So staircases going up to the top up there. That's going to all be flattened out, and there's going to be like sitting area up there. And that's also going to terraform around the corner here too. So let's say like right here would probably be your best bet. So that's going to come around the corner and that's what's going to meet sort of that wall right there. And we're going to have plenty of different items up here. Now this project's a huge project. Let me put it in terms for you. 
I'm thinking it's probably going to take at least 10 episodes to get this done. Now, we're not going to be working on this every single episode, I don't think. Um, but I do want to put progress in, right? So I'm thinking the shops are going to come up here. We want to use this mountain as a backdrop. Um, so maybe we don't bring it that far. Maybe we do. I kind of want to actually, I don't think I'm going to bring it that far. What I think I will do, though, is I'll stop it right there. Have the wall come this way and then meet up a bit up right here. So it's kind of nice and safe inside of there. And we'll need to fill all this in and get that, that little piece of cave part right there filled in. So we've got big plans, markets, and then like in the middle where there's like uh, no markets, we'll have different um, maybe like storage crates with minecarts and stuff. Not minecarts, but like, you know how people make those like minecart logs like like that. And then they have minecarts going over top of them, something like that. So it's going to have part industrial part, like, you know, medieval kind of feel where you can buy fish and things and markets. It's going to be very lively feeling. I'm very excited for it, though. I've got I've got vision through the butt on this one, man. Very excited. So um, I know that's all we got done today, um, but this is a big undertaking and it's something that we've never done before. So let me know what you guys think about the the pier so far. Right. Do you like how this looks? Do you want me to change it? Do you think it needs a little bit more detail? And if you guys do have ideas, feel free to shoot me a message on Twitter at iJevin. Just uh, at me and let me see what you got. So otherwise, I hope you guys all have a great, a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out.